My name's Patrick Beck. This is my introduction speech. So, uh, my main points are graduate, travel, work, and then college. Um, so, starting out, when I graduated high school, I immediately moved out to Cimarron, uh, Mexico. Uh, as a, I got a job at Philmont Scout Ranch as a prep cook. And if you don't know what that is, that is a higher adventure base for Boy Scouts. Um, great times, lots of stories, and we can go over that at a different time. Um, so from there, I worked there for three months, enjoyed my time there, and I moved back home to Florida. Uh, I got a job at Brio Tuscan Grill, working as a prep cook and line. At that time, I got in trouble with law, and the law, uh, and I became homeless. And if I was found guilty of, oh, what, what, what happened? Um, I would have been sentenced to about fifteen to thirty years in a federal prison. Which, good thing, I was not guilty. Um, from there, uh, I can, was homeless, continued, and after I got. Out of that law and trouble, I immediately moved to Winter Park, Colorado. So I moved from Winter Park, Florida to Winter Park, Colorado. Flew out there, you know, adventure. You get lost, you get panicky, and you find a good time with it. So I got a job out there at Winter Park Resort as a snowmaker. Um, while I was doing snowmaking, I learned how to snowboard and got really into weed. Really did. Um... During that time, I ended up getting in a snowmobile accident on the job, and I put myself in the ICU for three days. Um, honestly, it was my worst injury. I broke four vertebrae, three ribs. Uh, I had a bleeding kidney and a bruised lung. Really bad. And for stupid me of all reasons, I don't know why, I decided, oh, I'm going to watch a couple comedies. So, you know, laughing, ribs hurting from me laughing. And I watched about four hours of comedy. That was a stupid decision. It was painful. I was just hurting myself. I don't know why. But um, from there, uh, I moved back home. Still being homeless, but just closer to my family. I lived in my car. And honestly, that's really when I enrolled into college. I was like, I'm done with these hourly jobs. My back's not going to keep up. These are kind of the ideas that are running through my head. And I was like, okay. Well, I got to do something about that. So I enrolled into Valencia College. Did three semesters there living in my car. And be, I was thinking about becoming a zookeeper. Uh, honestly, because I heard about the Santa Fe program. I mean, the zoo animal program uh, through a friend of mine named Zach Martin, which it happens to graduate. He graduated from the program and he's working in New Zealand. So I thought it was really cool. So I enrolled and I said, one last adventure before I go to this college. So... I decided to get another job at Seabase, and it was Seabase Brit Environmental Center. It's another high adventure Boy Scout base. I got a job there, um, and the one thing that worried me the most about working there was that I had to pass a U.S. Coast Guard drug test, and if I failed that, it would go on my permanent record, and I was really not trying to add any more uh, laws I've broken on there. <laughs> so I ended up passing it and I got a job as an island mate which my job was uh taking a group of teenagers out to the island with a whole bunch of other teenagers that were run by different mates and teach them survival skills and teach them fishing and teach them about the environment and so I spent my time in summer there as a as a guide pretty much just teach them about sharks and fishing and uh sailing and snorkeling and teaching everything I could possibly could to them. Um, I enjoyed my time there immensely, and I'd probably, out of all the three jobs I've had that are adventure-based, I would definitely say that had to be my favorite. So after I finished up the summer, I decided to move up to Gainesville and start college. And this is uh, where I enrolled into the program. Um, when I started the program, I thought it was going to be really easy, but it ended up being... Uh, quite harder than I expected it to be. Um, so, um, being in the program, I completed three semesters of the program before I flunked, sadly, and that puts me here uh, in public speaking on the next semester. Currently, right now, I am working at Palmer Doros, and I started my own online store. 
don't have any customers yet. It's a bummer, but I need to work on my business a little bit better and advertise more. Um, I enjoy this public speaking class. I really do. And uh, what I do for my hobbies on really on my off time is uh, nothing. Absolutely nothing. Because uh, I'm too stoned to do anything, really. Um, what I see myself in the future being able to do and accomplish is to graduate from my zoo program, uh, graduate with a welding degree too, and probably push to get my underwater welding degree. Uh, I also see me growing my online business into it sustainably so I can travel freely and sail the world and um, build uh, do van life uh, and just travel as much as possible. And that's where I really see myself growing. Uh, hopefully, I can grow my businessly my business to a uh, massive, uh, a big corporation, or not really a corporation, but a bigger business, making an empire, pretty much. Um, and this is, has been my story, and this is my future. Uh, thank you.